I am Carl Ironiz, the CEO and clan father for the Indigenous Pipeline Council. And I am a Native American Indian of the Athabascan oil sands area up in Alberta, Canada. I am Coyote McTomey, Chief Technology and Communications Officer, also a clan father of the IPC family, and an Ojibwe from right here in Minnesota. Carl and my ancestors move freely to supply their changing energy needs. Now, today, it's the energy that does the moving, and we at the IPC help it to move from Carl's homeland to ours. White people's search for energy independence has often hurt Native Americans. Where 100 million of us used to roam, only 5 million are left to live on. And the legacy continues as oil and pipeline companies destroy our ancestral lands. No wonder we have reservations about them. Enbridge isn't like those other companies. When Enbridge undertook the Line 3 replacement, they asked us at the IPC to finish the final 19 miles, and that's exactly what we're doing. We all know we can't remove risk entirely. But when there were tens of millions of us inhabiting North America, we kept the peace by sharing the risk fairly. And that's what our pipeline plan does. It ensures that those who share in the wealth from oil production and transportation also share in the risk. Some Duluth residents may be worried about the so-called boomtown effect. Uh, it's true that many uh, areas with the new oil infrastructure have historically shown an increase of violent and nonviolent crime. We natives have a lot of experience with these phenomena when they find oil in our communities. And uh, we're prepared to do what it takes to make sure that these things don't happen right here to the good people of Duluth. In fact, we've got a five-fold commitment the first is consultation. When our ancestors would embark on the voluntary reorganization of somebody's homeland, they felt a duty to consult with them first. The second is education. We all know that pipelines can rupture. But there doesn't have to be a disaster, especially if we educate our young. Stimulation. We commit to hire multiple non-native contractors and create dozens of jobs, several of which could possibly become semi-permanent. Then there's resettlement. The IPC has a program to relocate residents. Finally, the handoff. As the profits come to benefit the greater Duluth community, it will be natural to uh, apportion a greater ownership share to affected residents. Each one of you here is a representative of many thousands of your neighbors and fellow citizens. As you agree to join us here today, your community agrees to join us as well. So generally, we conduct and we close our meetings uh, with a song and a dance. And this song and this dance is to um, Ward off evil spirits and negative energy. Whoever wants to like to come up, we're going to go ahead and get started. Just going to follow me, and what we're going to do is we're going to take the path of the, of the black snake. Oh, good night, good night. 